All right, so we ready now? Yeah, we're ready. Okay, so ordered pairs is going to be two numbers. The first one is usually the x, the second one is usually the y, but they can change that. It could be an a and a b, it could be an m and an n, it could be a q and an r, okay? It doesn't matter. But, right, s, a t, or whatever you want, okay? But usually it is going to be an x and a y, okay? So what we're going to do is we are going to determine whether uh, each ordered pair is a solution of y equals 3x plus 2. So I'm going to give you an ordered pair, an x and a y, and you're going to tell me whether that ordered pair is going to be a solution to this uh, equation or not. Okay? Are you ready? It's going to be exciting. Yes. No. You're not ready. I am. Oh, oh you're going, no, well, I didn't ask you the question yet. Oh. Okay. Uh, let's try 2, 5. Okay, so you do that on your own right now. Tell me if 2, 5 is, okay, so we've got one answer in. Got two answers in. Three answers in. Four. I don't see a six. It's two to five. A. That's an A. Okay. Okay. Gage? No. Or K? No. Why not? Why not? I don't get this. Well, I haven't done it yet. So there's nothing to get. Okay. Gage? Of course, they are in order. Uh, what? No. Three <laughs> Because 5 doesn't equal 8. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this y equals 3x plus 2. Shh. Hold on. What am I going to, what number am I going to plug in for y? 5. Do you guys get that? Yes. Haley, are you paying attention or are you visiting? Okay, so then pay extra attention and less time visiting with uh, McKinsey, okay? Uh, I'm going to replace the y with the y value, which is 5, okay? And then I replace the x with the what? 2. 2, because this is x comma y, and then plus 2. So now the question is, does 5 equal 3 times 2 plus 2? No. What is 3 times 2 plus 2 equal? 9. 8, because 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8, so the answer to this one is no, okay? So Hannah, what I did is I rewrote this, but when I came across this y, I wrote in the number that y equals, okay? How do you know which, when the guy goes with y? Because this is an x and this is a y, because it's the ordered pair, x comes first, and then y. On the paper, are they really labeled x and y? Uh, not necessarily. If it's not, then you always know that it's x and y. Oh, so it's alphabetical? Yes, it's alphabetical. Yeah, by the letter. Okay? So do you get it now? Yeah. Okay, so I put the 5 in for the y, I put the 2 in for the x, and then figured out if this equaled this, and in this case the answer is no. Okay? All right, let's try another one. How about uh, 3, comma, 11? So you do that on your own. Okay. So we have an answer here. We have an answer there. We have an answer here. Okay. Uh, let me try and explain it again. This, don't make people feel bad. This, hold on. Shh, 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 shh. This right here, uh, Maddie, is what letter? No, what letter? X. So you plug that in where the X is. Okay. What's 3 times 3 plus 2? So that is this one, and so since you just said 11 and this is 11, that means the answer is yes. Okay? Uh, Andy, you got it this time? It's yes. Good. Because I'm going to replace the Y with an 11, I'm going to replace the X with a 3, and then this time does 11 equal 3 times 3 plus 2? Yes. 11 equals 11, so that means now my answer is yes. I mean, this is the book. 
Then that's, it is alphabetical, and since x comes before y, that means the 3 is the x and the 11 is the y, okay? All right, so uh, try another one. Same thing. This time I'm going to change the equation. Hey, hey, guys. Hello. Hate to interrupt. Try to teach it. Okay. Change the equation. Y equals 4x minus 1. Uh, now x is 3 and y is 11. Okay, good. We got the same two people obviously have to figure it out. I don't know. Maybe they pay good attention. Matthew, you got it? Okay. Uh, Shiley, you got it? All right. Hold on. Anna, do you have it? Yes. Okay. Jillian, you think you got it? Okay, you got it? No. Uh, Alyssa? Alyssa? Oh, no, Alyssa. Sorry. Yes. It's yes? Okay, why is it yes? Because 11 equals 4 times 3, but that is 12 minus 5. Okay, good. So you get it now? All right. So we took the 11 and plugged it into there. And then we put the 3 into there, and since 11 equals 11 again, this one is yes. Okay, one more time. Now let's try same equation, but let's use uh, 10 and 3. Okay, got one answer here. You guys getting it back there? Michael, you know what we're doing? Okay, why don't you pay attention? No, I don't think so. If you were, you would be. Then you'd get it for sure. Okay, what we did on the last one, Michael, is is this the X or the Y? Which comes first in the alphabet, X or Y? Which comes first in the alphabet, X or Y? X. So that means the 3 is the X, right? And the 11 is the Y. Okay, now I know up here in the equation they're written in the backwards order, but I don't care about that. In the ordered pair, the first number is always going to be the x, and the second number is always going to be the y. Okay, so yes, you're right. Now I'm doing it kind of backwards, because this is starting with y, I'm going to start with what y equals, which is 11. Okay, equals 4 times what x is, which is 3 minus 1. So since those work out, I'm good. Okay. So now, still on Michael, with this order pair right here, what am I going to replace the y with? Nope, because this is what? This is what? What number is the first one? This is the x. The x is always first and then the y. Okay, so let me ask you again. What am I going to replace the y with? 3, because y is 3. What do I replace the x with? 10, because x is 10, good. Okay. Are these two things equal, Hannah? Um, no. No. Because this would be 3 equals 39, and that is definitely not true, so the answer is no. Okay? So that's what you said too, right? Yeah. Oh. I was kidding. Yes. I was kidding. I was. Not yet. Okay, so now we are going to uh, take this and come up with more than one answer for this uh, individual problem, okay? So my equation is y equals 8x, okay? And now I have four different values of x that I'm going to plug in. And I need to figure out for each one of them what y is, okay? So I'm going to make a little table for this. Just like it says, you use the given values to make a table of solutions. So my x's are what? 
One, two, three, four. Okay. How do I use those to figure out what my y's are in each case? Multiply by 8. Right, multiply by 8 because my equation says y equals 8 times x. Okay, so if x is 1, McKinsey, what's uh, y? I'm asking McKinsey now, I'll explain to you. 8, good. How did you get that, McKinsey? Explain that to Hannah. Okay, it says 8 times x. So if x is 1, you go 8 times 1 and get 8. Okay? Um, Maddie, if x is 2, what's y? 16, because 2 times 8 is 16. Okay? Uh, good. And the next one is 24. Uh, Michaela, what is y when x is 4? Uh -huh. What? I plug 4 in there for x, what's 8 times 4? 32. Okay, so this would be my answer here. This table right there has all of the uh, different values. Okay? Alright, let's do one more. Okay, so same deal, but with a different equation. This time when I make my table, if you look at the equation, I'm not going to use x and y. What am I going to use instead? Which one comes first? Which comes first in the alphabet? M. Okay, so I'm going to go M and then N. Okay, what are the values of M that I'm going to plug in? Negative 4. Negative 4. Negative 3. Negative 2. Negative two and negative one. Okay? Uh, Jacob. Jacob. If you plug negative four into that equation for M, what do you get for N? Nope. What do I do first when I take this negative four and plug it in here? Class. What happens first? You multiply. Good, I multiply it by four. So what's negative four times four? Negative 4 times 4 is negative 16, and then I have to go minus 3. What's negative 16 minus 3? Negative 14. No, nope, because they're both negative 19. Good, because they're both negative, so it's going to be negative 19. Okay? So, Jacob, will you try again? Will you do negative 3, please? Okay, that's when you multiply it by 4. You get negative 12. 4 times... Negative 3 is negative 12. But I'm not done. What do you have to do after you multiply by 4? Subtract 3. So what's minus 12 minus 3? Negative 15. Okay. Uh, Josh, what do you get when you plug in negative 2? What is negative 2 times 4, Josh? Negative 8. So the positive times the negative is a negative. Then I still have to go minus 3. So what is negative 8 minus 3? No, because they're both negative. So you add them together and keep the sign. So it's going to be negative 11. Okay? I'm not multiplying. When you're subtracting or adding or subtracting two numbers and they have the same sign, you add the numbers together and keep the sign the same. Jillian? If I plug in negative 1, what do I get? Negative 7. Okay? Alright, good deal. How do you guys feel about that? I'm feeling good. You feeling pretty good about that? No, now I am. It's easy. You feeling better now?